Hey guys, this is one of my first commentary videos and I'm roughly new at this, so bear with me if I mess up. I decided to paint this piece as an opposite, darker theme of one of my previous pieces, which I named Solstice. She's like the one with the pink and the pretty white eyes, which I really loved, but I decided to do a darker themed looking piece. Anyways, um, I started painting the painting with the Vivid, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's the Viviva color sheets, which are really nice. They're um, super pigmented. The minute it touches the paper, it kind of just stays, so you have to wet the page a little bit. But the it's a watercolor pad, and they're really awesome. They're really cool to take with you if you travel. It comes with an aqua brush, which I'm also using here. But then eventually I have to turn to the bigger brush for her body. Um, I tend to start my base, which is a skin, in a very light, creamy, pinky color. And then I tend to contrast which is my favorite part, because the shadows. I think it always just looks darker and it gives it a lot of personality. But... I always start with the eyes, usually, but... I couldn't decide what color I wanted to make it. So, I started with yellow. And then I began to do green. Which kind of makes it darker and creepier so later on I go on with it with the white gel pen I always do the eyebrows really funny but I don't know personal preference on my drawing with eyebrows and then her necklace, I didn't really know what color I was going to do it, so I looked at one of my old photos, and I was like, huh, what color would go? And I really, really like this red, burgundy, to match her tears. I thought it looked like tears, but it looked more like blood was just kind of gushing out of her eyes. I tend to always give them a little creepy cut, or... You know, blood running down their mouth or their eyes. I always, I always do the the little cuts and stuff because I see them as these brave warrior witches who get hurt but still go on being strong. I painted her hair so light. I did a light layer of brown and I didn't like it so I was like adding darker, darker, darker shadows. So that was fun. I think doing the line of the hair is always so pretty. And then just kind of outlining gives it more life, giving it a little bit of white detail. Sometimes you just know where to put them and then you don't. It's funny because I started painting the background in these soft pastels that I thought were gonna look good, but to my mistake it didn't fit the scheme so I plan on using her shadows for the background which looked like an olive green and I used her shadows And I ended up really liking it, and I just started adding stars and moons with the white gel pen. I always use the Uniball Sigma, I think it's called. It's either that one, which has like very, very thick lead or pointy end. And I, <laughs> I also like using the Jelly Rolls for the smaller details or less pigmented because the uniball is very 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 pigmented but I like it I 
had all these little details on her hair. She always looks so pretty. And here they are. I start always with the moons and then I don't know to I don't know how to go from there, so I just add more. I always think it's so, so deeply satisfying when we take out the tape from the page and you have these clean edges. It looks so good. But anyways, you guys, thank you for watching and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe or leave a comment down below.